Indiana governor declares a state of disaster emergency in East Chicago because of lead contamination in the soil. Let's go live to Dorothy Tucker. She's in East Chicago with what the declaration means for residents. Dorothy. This is great news. That's how officials here in East Chicago uh, describe the governor's declaration. Residents who still live in the contaminated area say it's about time. I took all my pictures off the walls. Candace Cobb is more than ready to leave the West Calumet housing complex. It's kind of scary because, you know, we took the kids to the doctor to get them tested for lead. Thank God none of my kids had lead, but I came up positive with lead. Cobb's family is among those targeted for relocation last July after the area was deemed unsafe because of high lead levels found in the soil. Out of 332 families, 175 have moved, leaving behind a ghost town of empty and boarded up units. So today's announcement by Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb. Declaring a disaster emergency on the East Chicago Superfund site. Is welcomed news. Finally, your reaction to the declaration? Um, humbling. East Chicago Mayor Anthony Copeland had been asking for a disaster declaration for months. What does this mean for East Chicago? It means that uh, Calvary is coming, that, that, that someone has heard our plight, it, it, uh, the, the expertise and, and uh, the unlimited type of resources that may be needed to solve this crisis. Could, could, could that door can now be open. It is now up to the mayor's office to provide the state with an overview of the problems and an assessment of all the resources that are needed. Reporting live from East Chicago, Dorothy Tucker, CBS News. Back to you, Rob and Erica. Okay, Dorothy, thank you.